In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you week one of my online CFM, week one Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, basically trying to help you guys get better on the offensive side and on the defensive side. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen any of my content before, basically what I do is I make Madden 21 tips and tricks, right? Now, we are playing in our PlayStation 4 online CFM, and so if you are interested in joining our PlayStation 4 or Xbox One online CFM, Go ahead and shoot me a text message. Now, I'm the Cowboys. I'm playing against Skills for Real. He's the Philadelphia Eagles, and I am running the Air Raid offense in my Air Raid CFM. So we didn't look too good in the playoffs, but we're going to jump right back in here and try to get a dub here. Uh, we had a rough first round match loss to Yashi, so we got to get back engaged here and get some things rolling. So starting off, we're going to just kind of start simple here, run some curl flats. Now, we do have Patrick Mahomes. We made a huge blockbuster trade for him in the offseason so really excited to get him in the air raid and lock up now if you guys hear me chatting in the chat it's because we're actually streaming this live on youtube at the same time so if you haven't come by a live stream i live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern all right so starting off here cover four palms got my man yashi in the chat got my man newton got my man travis what's up travis what's up jay mizzy all right let's see what we can get here second and two now, he's coming out and looking like almost like 3-4 under type of defense. So, this will be interesting to see what he does. But we're just going to get the ball to my man Boston Scott or Bernard Scott and let him do his thing. I think it's actually Boston Scott. But uh, we'll see what happens here. So, uh, opening, opening deal here. One of my new favorite setups from this offense is a little bit more of a kind of a passive setup but it's just curl wheel with double flatting uh just like to force him to have to play uh hard flats on both sides now Mahomes is gonna have to get out of the pocket here ends up fumbling the ball on the first drive and that's gonna bring up a nice little eight yard loss for us now when he starts doing stuff like that that's when i know i got to go to this play right here this is kind of my secret play uh let's see if it actually works out for me gonna hit our little running back little little check down read now he's running a lot of cover four palms so that's also my cue that i might want to try this y cross play if you watch um anderson here on the right side we might be able to get him open let's see what happens here and mahomes gonna laser over the top of the defense and we've got a one play touchdown to my man anderson over the top developed him in the offseason that man has an ability and we are up top seven zip if you play cover four palms against the air raid that is going to happen every single time we have one play touchdowns against every single defense in our arizona ebook if you want to pick up the ebook and you're watching live in the chat right now exclamation point ebook if you want to get the air raid also if you're watching this on youtube at a later date um, that link is in the description if you want to pick up that ebook now, we are going to be running our 3-3-5 defense. I don't quite have the personnel to be rocking with the 46. So, we're running our 3-3-5 wide defense we just released into uh, our YouTube chat. So, if you have not already taken a look at that defense, I believe it's one of the best defenses in the entire game. Now, he's actually going to come out and run some wildcat here off the rip here. So, we're going to actually go to this pinch blitz. This is my favorite defense against the wildcat. Um, and we're just going to basically use this safety right here, see what we can do. And it looks like he's going to be running right through here. And the reason I like this defense is because, as you can see, the gaps just open up and you're able to shoot the gap, bro, and get in for some instant pressure. Now, I drafted some safeties, and I got some really, really fast linebackers here in the offseason. So really excited to kind of get them on the field uh, and kind of see. I got my man Stearns. I got my man uh, Hamsa. And then I got my man... Uh, I'm not sure where he's at, my man uh, Tavarius Moore. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout here. Um, I feel like, you know, my my calling card in this year on the CFM is going to be the offensive side of the ball, but I want to kind of work a little bit on my defense. So going to get my guy Tremont Smith in the on the field here. I got Josh Jones back there in the back end, and I'm going to be using Tavarius Moore, all 95 speed of him, and we're going to be rocking a lot of nickel 335 wide. Like I said, this is the nickel 335 ebook that I am running uh, on stream here. So if you guys want to pick it up i just threw it in the stream um but we're gonna get started here and kind of just 
playing a little bit simple, uh, keeping everything in front of us. We're really just trying to keep things in front of us. It's really all we're trying to do. Uh, he's going to go pistol bunch tight end. We're going to get a nice little five yard loss. Now he has Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, one of the best quarterbacks in the league, 99 overall with every ability that you could want on a quarterback, uh, just like Patrick Mahomes. So that's going to bring up a third and 14 situation. And this is where I really, really like this defense right here. Just a little cover four max coverage. Uh, going to try to keep everything in front of us. And here I got stuck on the D-line. And we're going to let that guy blitz in. And it looks like he's going to get a nice little first down play. Good read by him. We went to a little cover five concept out of the cover four. Now, one of the things I will tell you uh, that you're going to see me do a lot is you're going to see a lot of Mabel coverage. Uh, you're also going to see a lot of, like, different types of two-man rushes because two-man rushes, in my opinion, uh, are really, really effective, especially from situations like what we're going to be doing here. Now, he's going to go to stretch, and he actually gets a really, really good block. Almost breaks it on us, and we've got to be careful about that. We've got to go to our nickel 335 wide run defense. I believe it's the best run defense in the game. Right there, we didn't audible quick enough and actually got caught. Now, he's going to come out in pistol doubles here. i got to be aware of what he's doing and why he's doing it. We're going to go to Mike Blitz 3, um, and we're just going to run our simple you know, Mabel setup here. And let's see what happens. A little jet touch pass there. We're just going to push that pocket. And looks like he's going to get a nice little quick game. What's up, Naomi? How you doing? All right. So also, if you guys didn't know, I actually broke down a lot uh, of free full schemes from Madden every single week in my text message membership. This week, we're talking about strong close. So if you want to sign up for the text membership, all you got to do is text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. All right. So first and 10 again. And looks like here, uh, we're going to kind of put the pressure on him just a little bit here and our user rush got kind of jacked up he's going to get, try to get us over the top but my man tony brown with the user pick over the top huge play in this ball game as we are going to get the pick and that's going to put us with a one possession advantage now whenever i get a big play like that i like to kind of honestly play a little conservative um just because i don't want to give the ball right back to him you know sometimes it's easy to get greedy and start doing things like that what we're going to do is just go right down into this little two back set it's one of my favorite sets in the entire game i feel like it has some of the best running plays um in the game as you can see right there tj logan bouncing off tackles getting us a nice little quick three quick four yards and let's see what we got going here we're gonna go to that doubles y off and one of the reasons i really like this formation is because you have some really nice little quick plays that can just kind of force issues for your opponents we're gonna go to the Mahomes fake jet pass power it's one of my favorite plays in the entire game you see here he's gonna to shoot to the outside gonna allow us a little quick run here right up the middle for Mahomes and the beauty of Mahomes is he's a lot faster than Matt Stafford if you guys watched the last season you know that Matt Stafford was a little bit of an issue for me through a lot of interceptions had a lot of big plays actually won the NFL MVP but also had a lot of interceptions. So we're going to try to clean that up this year with Mahomes. Uh, and now I'm going to go to my favorite setup out of curl wheel. Little hitch post wheel combination here. And if he's not guarding that little quick wheel, I'm going to take that every day of the week. Now, one of the things I have to remember about Mahomes, and this is where it's different than like regular teams, Mahomes has hot route master. So that's one of the really, really cool things to have um on your quarterback this year so i'm going to be able to take advantage of that as well all right here i'm going to go to this little rpo read screen one of my favorite plays in madden just a little quick play kind of to get him off balanced uh and just see kind of what he's going to do and he's going to give us mahomes right up the gut there for a, a quick gain of about four yards and that's going to bring up a nice third and one situation now uh in this situation one of my favorite things to do you know he's probably going to blitz so what we're literally going to do is the same exact play we're going to go to rpo read screen you see here him he's looking like he's going to send that pressure right off the edge here and mahomes is this time going to be shut down and we're going to have to go for this and this is not a great situation to be in um because what's going to happen here is we're kind of forced to go for this in my opinion because you don't want to give a possession the defense play to play with a free possession here so you don't want to give the ball back to him but at the same time um, with his user stick and the pressure that he's probably going to be sending on this play, uh, we have to be ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a little um, quick protection here, and we're going to have a slant route and a post route concept uh, on this play. And let's see here. It looks like he's going to go to the slant, and we're going to let Mahomes just kind of throw this out of bounds, and that was really a bad play by me. And 
Honestly, great defense by him. He's going to get the ball in scoring range. So really, uh, he kind of came out on it pretty, pretty well. Um, so right here, we're going to go to a little little coverage or a little 3-3-5 uh, wide run defense, and we're able to get the stuff. And defensively, we have to be on our A game right here. We're in our own territory. One of the things we're going to try to do a lot more this year than we did last year is focus on holding our opponents to touch or to uh, to field goals. If we could just hold our opponent to a field goal, uh, we feel pretty good about being able to win both ball games. So really, the key here is just holding my opponent to a field goal. As long as we can tackle, rally to the ball, and play good, sound, disciplined coverage, I feel really good in our ability to do that. All right, so he's going to go pistol bunch tight end once again, and we're actually going to go to a little cover three Mabel, and he had a nice little trail route right there, but this is going to bring up a fourth down, and we actually did our job defensively, got off the field really, really quickly, and I'm going to take this opportunity to basically set up um, basically set up my, my coverage defenses uh, here with the cover six. And obviously with the, if I can find it, the cover four palms. So I have some different coverages to be able to go to in critical situations. Now, offensively, we honestly haven't looked that great. Um, we've been a little rusty in our, in our air raid offense. So we're going to have to really lock in here on this drive. But um, trying to trying to kind of think through is, is users doing a lot of different things on that last play on that fourth down. I kind of anticipated his user to um, go us go at the post route, and I was trying to hit the slant. And to be honest with you, that was probably a mistake looking back at it. So we're gonna try to just do some quick things here, you know, some simple things. Go a little bit more West Coast style, little quick passes here, quick pass there to try to get up and down the field on our opponent. So uh, as you know here, I do have this little flat route right here to Boston Scott. So we're gonna take full advantage of that. And then we're gonna leverage these little hitch routes. So basically I'm looking quick to the seam. And if I don't have that, then I'm gonna check down uh, and hit one of my guys underneath right there. As you see right there, um, end up dropping the ball, but that's kind of what we were looking for. Just trying to keep things really out in front of us a little bit. He's playing a lot of max coverage defense. So one of the things we might do is we might try to hit him over the top with Julio Jones on a little cover four bomb. Uh, and it looks like he's going to go to cover three. Now, one of the things that I have to do a better job in this game of remembering is that, you know, I'm not using, um, I'm not, you know, I have Hot Route Master. I have um, different things like that. So that's something that I also need to be sure to remember in this game. And we're going to take advantage of that nice little gunslinger from Mahomes. Hit the mesh route, mesh corner right outside on that cover three match for a big first down. Going to bring up another uh, situation that we've got going on. Now, again, if you guys want to sign up to compete in the CFM, these are four cash prizes. So we do have uh, a cash prize that we're giving at the end of this for everybody or for the for the Super Bowl champions. So if you want to sign up to compete, we'd love to have you participate. Um, all you got to do is check out the links in the uh, description. All right, so we're going to go to a little Y cross right here. Um, and he is going to let leave Noah Fant wide open over the middle. Try to go back to that little post curl route and this is where i really love having hot route master the ability to put this guy on a crossing route from the slot i think is super super important um and so as you can see right here we're going to be able to get some pretty nice little combinations on our field um and really just kind of take our check down right here get the ball out of the field get the ball out of our hands to our running back pick up a nice little gain we're actually putting together a nice little drive now, one of the things that you're seeing he's doing is I think he's kind of dropping a lot of people back in coverage. So what we're going to try to do here is hit him with the H shallow cross. It's one of my favorite plays in the entire game. I'm going to smart route Julio Jones. And what I'm actually going to do with Anderson, because I have this C route right here, I'm actually going to test out this C route. And, uh, and see what we can do here over the top. So he does go to man coverage over the top. Cover zero coverage. Mahomes to Julio Jones. And that is a reservation for six. One play touchdown against cover zero. Just like we planned it to be. H shallow cross for an absolute laser. And we've got a 14 to three lead heading into about the almost to the two minute warning. Now, again, guys, if you want to get full schemes sent to your cell phone every single week, I break down every week a different scheme. Sometimes it's the gun cluster. I've broken down the Minnesota trio. I've broken down the strong close this week. We talked about U-trips, uh, gun bunch, 
ace slot offset, split close. We've even talked about a lot of defenses like the big nickel over G. If you want to get all of those full schemes in one playlist and one package, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812 812- 216-3644. If you're watching this on YouTube uh, live right now, go ahead and type exclamation point text in the chat to get my cell phone number. Okay. All right. So he's going out in pistol bunch tied in. And what we're going to do here is we're going to actually try to kind of blow this game open a little bit. We're going to send a user rush at him. A little five-man user rush. He actually ends up running the ball, which is probably a pretty good decision by him. And uh, actually kind of neutralized our user rush. Now, right there, we did not mean to call that timeout. Completely bumped the button. But the next time, the next time that he actually, we're going to try to send it right here and a little slip screen and we're going to click off and make a good play. I'm surprised. Haven't seen a lot of pistol bunch tied in. Um, so it'll be interesting to kind of see what he goes to. What's up, Jay? How you doing? Are there banned plays? Oh, skills for real just hitting us up. My opponent's hitting us up in the chat asking if there's any banned plays. Not sure why he would ask that question. Now he's going to go to five wide right here. We're just going to run a little simple cover three invert type of concept, and that's going to take us down to the two minute warning. All right, so he's going gun split offset. And honestly, we're going to play a little drop back D here. Just kind of keep everything out in front of us with this 3-3-5 normal. Uh, one of my favorite little things to do every now and then. Just kind of force him to take his underneath. You know, just let him know that he's not going to be able to get those, you know, one play touchdowns over the top. We could sit in a cover five shell just like that. And then now what you're going to see I'm going to go to is actually a little bit of a defense. Kind of an aggressive defense, I would say. Um, but we're going to go to a little bit of, um, a little bit of cover two Mabel, basically. And looks like he's going to go ahead and run the ball. And I feel like that he kind of got uh, a little bit lucky on that one. Got through the through the hole there, untouched. Did a good job of quick snapping me too, so I couldn't adjust to it. Um, someone just asked me, someone just shot me a text and said, do I have the 335 odd contain blitz? Yes, we posted that video over two months ago. That's part of why I recommend to go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you always have access to the latest tips and tricks. We always post those things as soon as they go out, as soon as they go live to the public. All right. So again, we're going that cross play and looks like he's going to try to hit us over the top. Josh Jones is going to be there. Drops the interception, unfortunately. And that's where we need to double check a little something in our coaching adjustments. This has been a new adjustment for me, but I like to go ahead and put that on play receiver. But you're seeing this defense is kind of keeping everything out in front. Um, now what we're going to do right here um, is we're going to we're going to try to use a rush him right through the middle here. We'll see what happens. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. And he's going to go play action. That's actually a really, really good call. But he throws it off his back foot. Kind of panics a little bit in the pocket. And we get a huge play. Makes a little bit of a huge mistake, in my opinion, right there. And now we're going to be able to get the ball 14-3. to Now, if I remember correctly, he does have, um, I believe he does get the football at half. So we've got to, uh, we've got to uh, you know, kind of keep this game out in front of us here. All right. Now, it would be interesting to see if he runs cover four palms. We're going to put a little five-yard out route right there. And that was probably not a great idea. And Mahomes is not going to be able to handle that pocket presence. And that was probably one of – and he actually did go cover four palms right there. So if I would have left that out route, it probably would have been a touchdown. All right, let's see here. Showing a little bit of cover four palms again. But we're just going to take that little out route, and my man Raymond going to get up field and get a couple quick yards. Uh, Darren, I'll answer your question here in a few minutes once this game's over. Yes, this is me playing, Jay. Yep, I'm playing in my CFM. All right, in this situation here, I'm going to go to one of my favorite plays uh, in this situation, and it's basically just a simple little check down. I'm going to have either the right side open or the left side open, depending on who he uses. And we're going to have that right side open. Just get a first down. And it's one of my favorite, favorite plays in the entire game. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a little bit of a yard gainer. Another really nice little concept here. He's got this flat. You've got curl flats, basically. 
and Julio Jones right over the middle. And really what we're trying to do right here, this is kind of a critical drive. We're going to go to Y cross here in a kind of a pinch situation uh, and try to get either this out route open. And we're going to have the crossing route. The question is, can Mahomes make the throw? And he does not make the throw. That's a huge missed throw in my opinion. That was automatically three points. Unfortunately, we got that stupid thing that happens when you're in the pocket and the pocket kind of collapses and all of your icons go by the wayside. Very irritated by that, but I've got to adjust here. Now, you notice that he's running a lot of cover three. Um, so what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to kind of hit him um, in a few different ways right here. We're going to try to kind of hit Julio Jones over the top. We've got this little... Um, a little smart routed out route on the right side in case we have a good look for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to block and release my tailback, put a little slant, slant flat combination on the field and see what we can do. He is running cover three and my man, that was a huge, huge catch in my opinion, got out of bounds, did exactly what we wanted him to do out of that. And that's going to bring up a first and 10 ball on the 44 yard line. Now we need to get to about, um, we really need to get to, Kind of the, the 30, um, I really want to get to the 30-yard line here. So i uh, got to kind of figure out what we're going to do offensively. We're going to go to a little basic, kind of basic little curl flat. Actually, we're going to go slant right here. We're going to throw a slant on the field. we got Noah Fant there. we got kind of some check down reads in case things break down. But the crossing route is going to be open. Mahomes doesn't miss it this time, and that's going to put us in field goal range. I think he just dropped the pass or did not get his feet in, even though we manually caught it and hit the possession catch button. So all kinds of frustrated at that. So uh, going to kind of go to the same play and the reason why, um, but we're going to change it up. We're going to have two crossing routes, and we're just going to basically have a little check down read right here. Uh, we'll do a little zig route to – actually, we're going to do a smart routed out route on that left side. If that left side is open, we'll take it, and then we're going to look to the crossing routes. And Julio Jones able to get that possession catch. Ball is on the 32-yard line. That's going to set us up for a field goal. He does go to cover four palms. Um, you know, I'm, I probably should honestly go for that, but – not going to do it. Going to go ahead and stay disciplined. Stay out in front by two possessions, 14 to 3 or 17 to 3. Hopefully, if we can make this field goal kick. All right, and kick is up, and it is no good. Our special teams continues to make us struggle. And unfortunately, that is a huge mistake by me. It looks like he's going to go down to that Wildcat. So we're going to go back to our Wildcat defense. Big nickel. Over G, Pinch Blitz O, one of my favorite Wildcat defenses uh, in Madden 21. And we come straight through the middle there, and we're just going to rally and tackle. And that's going to be the end of the first half. In my opinion, we were kind of cheated of some points right there, but uh, no big deal. Todd wants to challenge us in the chat. What's up, my man? Yeah, we could get a game in. Probably not tonight, though, but we could get one in tomorrow night. What's up, Jake? If you guys want to challenge me to Madden games, always type exclamation point game in the chat. In the chat. All right, so he's going to get the ball coming out of half here. So this nickel 335 wide defense. If you want to pick up the defense, um, I'm going to throw a link for you guys in the live chat. You can pick up that defense right there. But if you want to pick this up, this defense is also in the description. Um, one of my favorite, favorite defenses of all season to run right now. Uh, I feel very, very confident not giving up, you know, really anything big. Um, you know, you can obviously give up little things here and there, but by and large, this defense really does make it difficult for people to score consistently, um, especially in the red zone. What's up, Tavon24? Wide receiver did not jump when I pressed the button. How do you user catch? Shoot me a text message on that question. I have a video that I'd like to be able to send you. Okay, so we got gun tight offset tight end. Now, right here, um, this is a formation a lot of people like a lot of corner routes out of here. So we got to watch this corner route on the left side. And I probably should have left a spy. I was actually kind of thinking of spying my nose tackle right there. I probably should have done that. Uh, didn't do it and paid the price for it. I'm going to do it right here. So I have a nice little spy. 
and he's going to run a little quick outside zone right there, and that's my new addition, Shaq Griffin, acquired in the Patrick Mahomes uh, massive trade, ends up playing huge for me in that position right there. Going to run again with Russell Wilson. This time he fumbles, and Traylon Smith picks up the ball, and that's a huge play in this game. We're going to be able to get all the momentum back on that, and now we just got to go down and capitalize some easy, easy touchdown potential right here for the offense. All right, in this situation right here, I actually really like these little post routes to the tight end combined with essentially a slant route, flat route combo. And then we're just going to, you know, this kind of little combination right here, really effective for little quick reads. If they're not honoring the running back, we're going to take that right there. My man Scott to the sideline. Absolute laser. And the spread is not looking too bad right now. 14 to 3 with Hot Route Master. I think it makes the spread a lot better. Um, just because you're able to get specific types of routes like this skinny post route, like these crossing routes right here that we're about to run. We got two crossers. And then we have uh, this is kind of like my, you know, honestly just like a little, you know, simple play that really is attack to trying to attack them deep down the field. We got those double crossers. And we're just going to take this and throw this away, not risk anything. We want to stay up, try to go up by two full possessions. All right, so 14 to 3. Right here, we're going to go to hitch seam. So we're going to two streaks. We're actually going to audible that again and instead use the running back on a little little shoot flat. And then we're showing cover two on this right side. So we're going to peek that first. And he is in cover two on the wide side of the field. And he is going to almost get a user pick. In my opinion, that's probably the worst throw of Patrick Mahomes' career. That throwing lane was wide open. But unfortunately, instead of pass leading him to the outside like I wanted him to, he ended up pass leading him to the inside. So not what we're looking for. Now, he's showing cover two again right here. So we're going to try to hit him right up the streaks. And Mahomes is going to step up in the pocket and basically put us in a good position to take our field goal. Not going to risk anything. And we're just going to take our field goal and be able to go up by 14 this time. Hopefully, if we make it and kick us up, and it is good for us. All right. Single back wing type for my opponent. And there's that 335 wide run D blowing that run up in the backfield. Gonna hold it to a minimal game. Gonna bring it up second down along. We're gonna. This defense is so powerful, in my opinion, because it allows you all the flexibility to be able to stop some of the best route combinations in Madden. And right here, we're going to get our hard flat on here. And he's going to go ahead and do this little jet touch fake pass. Kind of gets held up there. Josh Jones makes a huge tackle right now. Got some people texting in in the chat. If you haven't texted in to let me know you're watching, go ahead and shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. All right, so it looks like he's going to come back out in that wildcat formation on this critical third down and one. So we're going to try to lock this up right here. And Big Nickel over G, I absolutely love for this. And that's a huge tackle by me. Just the beauty of the Big Nickel over G is it does... Uh, a lot of damage against the against formations like this because you can time the jumps and it's one of the best um, one of the best ways to jump um, basically to to try to use or rush it or to come through the a gap on those running plays. That's going to bring up a fourth and sixth right here, 
and um, we're actually going to go to a little Tampa 2 action. A little Tampa 2 action right here over the middle of the field. I've got to watch this left side curl route, and that, unfortunately, my my uh, corner, my slot corner just completely got sucked down right there by the rollout. Very, very good job. All right. So we got first and 10 here. And going to go with a little power out of Kamara. And they're the 3 through 5 normal. Whenever they have to pass, I feel like the 3 through 5 normal is right there with Big Nickel over G for one of the best defenses in the entire game uh, when it's going up against a pass based offense. Going to hit us with the quick read to Kamara. And this is where this defense, I feel like, as you see here, he's had completions. 10 of 13. The difference is we've held him to short completions, kept everything in front of us, and really put ourselves in a really, really good uh, position. All right, so he's going gun tight offset right here. And we're just going to kind of keep everything in front of us. This time we've got the spy out there. Now if he does run the ball, we're going to have some stuff right there, some options. We're going to click off of our user, send the spy, forces him to lob it up over the top. And unfortunately, we drop another interception in the red zone. That's our third interception that we have dropped in this game. Wish we could get a couple more catches on those picks. All right, we got Pistol Bunch tied in coming out here. What's up, Jaden? How you doing, man? And let's see here. We're going to go ahead and go with that cover four again. And looks good read on that drag to the tight end. And we're going to do a good job of kind of holding it in front of us, get ourselves in another position um, for a, a fourth down. And goes a little quick run. Don't really like that play call, but he did, did work out well for him. What's up, Madden Goat? How you doing, man? All right, so it's going to be about first and 10. Now, the beauty of this defense is this is, I mean, if you look, like, we've given up stuff, 100% given up stuff, right? But this drive has take a, taken a significant time, uh, significant time from a clock perspective. Now, he's going to go to that jet touch pass again, this time from the 3-3-5 wide. We're able to shoot it, able to shut it down in the backfield. That's what makes the 3-3-5 wide so good. If you want to pick up the defense that I'm using in this game, uh, I'm going to go ahead and share it with you in the chat. It's on a special promo sale for just this uh, first couple of weeks of January. It's only 15 bucks. Normally it's $30. So go ahead and pick that ebook up if you're looking to get better uh, on the defensive side of the ball. All right, so right here, um, we're going to watch. If he runs this little drag route like I think he will, he does, we're going to go over here and just kind of force him to take that drag to the tight end. And the reason why is honestly just because of the time uh, allotted. All right, now right here, fully expecting some type of run play. Be interested to see what he calls here. And he's going to go to those drags and hits the drag over the middle and does a good job and is going to be able to get in for six. It's probably poor defense on my part. Probably shouldn't have run those curl flats in that situation. Probably should have put those as vert hooks. Very, very, very good. Um, very, very good route combination by him. Now he's going to put himself right back in this ball game. He's only down by seven, and there's still five minutes of clock left on the clock. So, going to have to lock up here. Going to have to go ahead and go down and get at least three points. That missed field goal at halftime where we should be up 20 to 10. Unfortunately, we missed a field goal. So, that's going to put us in a bad position. But we've got to lock up here and try to go down and get some points. Now, uh, Skills for Reels did say the Eagles are winning my division. Don't really like that threat because I um, felt like it was a little bit early. So we've got to make sure that we win this ball game to give ourselves a really, really good start here earlier on the division. So I'm going to go to some of my favorite plays on this drive and really just try to get the ball up and down the field here a little bit uh, and really keep it super, super simple. Now, he's been running a lot of zone. I love this route to Anderson against zone coverage uh, if he's going to do that. So we're going to read the flat to the curl on this play. And we got the back here on the left side. He's going with no hard flat to the back side. We're going to be able to easily take that every single time out of that cover four drop. All right, now one of the things you'll notice is he's running a lot of, um, a lot of like dime and nickel and quarters and 
you know, just different things like that, dollar types of formation. So we're gonna try to get in with this little fake jet QB power right down the right down Broadway, and Mahomes gets in the open field, able to get a huge gain for us. Gonna get about 15 yards, set up a first down, and we have about four minutes left of clock that we need to chew up here. One of my favorite plays to actually go to in this situation is this Y cross. And one of the things I like to do is use a simple halfback angle route out of the backfield um, just to kind of hold his user. So see here, his user goes to that, and we're going to be able to hit that nice little post curl route to Julio Jones. Very nice little read right there for our offense. And we're going to go to Y cross again. But this time we're going to use that nice, very effective little crossing route. We're going to use that smart route and out route, and then we're going to block and release, just have some good plays. If you run something like a cover four palms, uh, we could have a chance. And Mahomes is just going to throw this ball away, get rid of the ball. And Mahomes is 16 of 23 for 263 yards. The key here, boys, is Mahomes has thrown zero interceptions. We've been able to be able to move the ball up and down the field on this game. So we got to keep with that. But one of the plays I'm going to call right here um, is something that I think actually uh, will be really, really effective. We're going to go to... He's running a lot of cover four style defense, cover two, cover four. So we're going to go to eight shallow cross. We're going to put that slant route to this side. Got a nice little um, nice little route to our running back. We're going to smart route that route on the right there. And then with Anderson, we're just going to leave him on this stock fade, kind of read him quick and see what happens here. And he's got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And Anderson almost aggressive catched it over the top of there. And honestly, right there, another cover four call by him. He's ran a ton of cover four this game. So we've got to uh, we've got to adjust to that cover four defense. Now, if he's going to run a lot of cover four, uh, this eight shallow cross is going to be a really, really good play against that. It's one of my favorite plays in the entire game. We're going to put that out right on the right there just to have that as a little read uh, in case things go south. Yep, he is in that cover three this time. And Mahomes is going to throw a huge interception late in this game, and that is not good. We get a huge tackle for my uh, right tackle, and as we said, the key to the victory, if we turn the ball over, it can be detrimental. We have the slant wide open. We get a throw out of sack animation, and our opponent is cooking right now. Uh, obviously, he's going to be very, very excited because I'll go ahead with a nice little quick snap stretch run and basically jukes out my entire team, almost breaks it for a touchdown because I could not accurately get my user. Um, very irritated with that play call by him, but got to give credit where credit is due. All right, now pistol bunch tight end right here. And this time we're going to run some hard flats and just try to kind of really take that away. And there, that time we did, we've been giving that to him all game right in that tight situation we're able to take it away and now we've got really a good situation for the defense we're going to play a little backed off coverage here really going to cover two and we're basically watching out for that little slot crossing route uh, from this formation we're going to drop everybody back here and just keep everything in front of us and we nice jump back down on it user lurk to various more tried to double juke but because uh i don't know why doesn't able to get it but we're able to get a huge interception right there. Now, he still has two timeouts, so we do need to go down and do need to get some points here uh, and not throw the ball to the other team, but a great, great, great play by my user on that play. Now, he's been running a lot, and I mean a lot, of cover three. So going to like a little bit of cover three match, it looks like, on this play here. So we're going to try to hit this route to Raymond deep or this route to Noah Fant. If neither route is there, uh, we've got a little blocker release check down to Bernard Scott or Boston Scott. He is in that cover three defense. They have matched, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and just throw that ball away. Live to play another down. Good defense by him. All right, let's see here. So he's been running a lot of cover three. We're going to try to just take these little underneath routes, try to hit the seams on either side here. Uh, and if that's not there, and right there, Raymond with a big laser. That's one of the beauties of the air raid, being able to do this play right here. This is probably one of my favorite plays to kind of sprinkle in at the right time. 
and Mahomes has plenty of room to be able to scramble. He doesn't have escape artists here uh, because I have I am choosing to use Hot Route Master over the escape artist ability. So he still can scramble, but he can't get out of the pocket like really, really quickly um, like he normally could. But he's still able to get some mobility and still able to scramble in key situations. Now, in this situation right here, we're going to go ahead, you know, we're in really a good spot here. I could probably just run the clock out right here, honestly, and we would be fine. Going to go to curl wheel, just kind of a safe play call. It's my favorite play in the game. So very, very rarely will I miss a read. And he's going to leave the running back wide open, late read, touchdown, Cowboys. We're going to go up 24 to 10. Defense is going to get itself back on the field. If you want to pick up the offense that you saw us run here, go ahead and type in the chat, exclamation point, ebook. That is my full air raid offense. If you're watching this later on YouTube, go ahead and check out the description. We got both the air raid offense. And if you want to pick up my defense, I just threw a link in the live chat for you guys. But if you're watching this on YouTube at a later time, that link is in the description of this video. Also, if you're watching this live and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And while you're there, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you enjoy the content. It's completely free to subscribe on YouTube. If you want to support the channel you can go ahead and do that by joining the channel all the proceeds from that go directly to the creator so if you haven't joined the channel yet we get some nice perks in the chat and it helps me out a ton okay so in this situation here uh once we have someone here where they have to pass the ball this is where i really really like this play right here i'm gonna try to go over the top and that's where all that speed josh jones able to get the user pick and we finally capitalize, finally catch one of those user picks. And now we are in full control here. And now we're just padding the stats, trying to get ourselves, uh, trying to get Patrick Mahomes an MVP trophy. You know, trying to get my man Patrick Mahomes uh, an MVP trophy. It's really on our hearts a little bit. Um, there you see there's Noah Fant. In my opinion, my X factor, the key to my success, and you'll hear me talk about it a lot throughout this year, is 100% Noah Fant. We're trying to send a little bit of a message here to our Eagles user as well. And, of course, as we do that, we throw a wide open interception to A.J. Terrell. I thought he was in man coverage. Ends up being in zone coverage, and he is going to get a nice little pick six and remind us that he is here to stay. He's here to compete. He's here to fight. Very, very good defense. Me just kind of playing a little bit, honestly, a little bit rude football. Um, trying to send a statement, and he sends a statement right back that he will see us in our next matchup throughout the CFM season. So really quickly, if you want to join our Xbox One or our PS4 online CFM, go ahead and type exclamation point CFM in the chat, or you can go ahead and shoot me a text message and just let me know. My number is 812-216-3644. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pass the ball a little bit more um, just because we're trying to get a few more reps with this scheme, but we cannot, we cannot um, give him this football back. We've got to stay committed. A lot of man up three deep here. He's probably going to go to man coverage. And let's see here. Just going to take the quick flat. Just take the quick flat to Scott, see if we break anything. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and call a timeout. I'm going to go ahead and go back to one of my favorite plays. Uh, little curl wheel now when I run it like this right here this is one of my favorite ways to run this in the entire game you'll see here just a simple little concept but I think super super effective we're gonna motion George fan or Noah fan over to the right here and we're gonna create kind of a natural little curl flat concept and Mahomes without that escape artist is really not that powerful as far as getting out of the pocket so we have to throw it away had a wide open touchdown, but didn't want to didn't want to chance it, didn't want to force it. We did have um, we did have the streak wide open, but did not want to force that ball. And we're gonna go back down to hitch seam here in this situation. Just kind of keep it out in front of us. Now he is using on the right side of the field, so we do have to kind of watch that a little bit. Um, but Mahomes with that gunslinger overthrows my receiver by an absolute mile it's going to bring up a fourth and eight situation we're going to honestly go ahead and run this um i know this isn't great decision making football wise but it's great decision making youtube wise going to make for a fun ending in my opinion and we'll go ahead and go for this give him an opportunity to fight and i feel like you have to call the play that got you here i mean the play that you know, truly got us here is this curl wheel. It's my favorite play in the game, 100%. And we're going to run it just like this right here. 
have a little bit of extra protection and kind of see what the defense allows us to do. And we've got Julio Jones wide open over the middle. Huge play. And Julio is going to try to fight and get in. Almost gets in the end zone for a touchdown. Able to get down. And this is where I love, 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 love to call this play. This is my favorite play in the red zone right here. Little angle route. Little two hitches on the outside. And he user lurks the angle route. I did not believe. I cannot believe he got that. And I'll be honest with you. We've got a, we we have got some work to do on the offense. Mahomes was supposed to come in and not throw interceptions and not do what he just did, and he did anything but that in this game. So we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're able to get hopefully out of here with a touchdown or with a win, but we definitely cannot feel like we don't have work to do uh, as a defense and as an offense. Defensively, we played fairly well, but offensively, I feel like we played good in the right moments, and I feel like we showed promise, but really didn't do a great job on the offensive side of the ball. So, love these cover fours in this situation. I feel like cover four is one of the hardest coverages to bomb over the top, and Perry Nickerson unable to outrun the receiver on that play. We've held him to 89 yards passing, forced four interceptions. If you guys have not gotten the defensive ebook just threw it for you in the chat the defensive ebook is absolutely incredible and you know what we're going to do here i'm going to send a little user rush going max protect over the top and the defense is going to score on its own safety ball game that's going to be a two possession lead with only five seconds left even if he gets the ball back it's going to be hard to score. Really, really good game by him. We're going to go ahead and fair catch that. And that is going to do it. Thanks for watching this episode of the CFM. If you want to join, really exciting game week one. We're going to be doing featured games of the week every single week. So if you have any questions about our CFMs, shoot me a text message.